Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bioinformatics School channel. As a beginner in the field of bioinformatics, one of the challenges that you may encounter is the installation of tools. And this can even be frustrating if you are using Linux systems, because with Linux, sometimes you have to build from source, you have to install dependencies, you have to set the parts, etc. So all these things sometimes can be very challenging. And this is where package managers come in software package managers so software package managers allow you to install tools without you having to put in a lot of efforts yeah let me use this free um, loosely here and one software package manager that i recommend to people is anaconda and so that is what i'm going to talk about today now anaconda is a software package manager and it can be installed on all the operating systems. Uh, you can install it on Windows, you can install it on Linux, you can install it on Mac OS. For Windows and Mac OS, there are graphical user interface. That's UI install it. So you can just download and then with, with a few clicks, you will get Anaconda installed and configured. For Linux, you have to install by the command line. I already have a tutorial that shows you how to install Anaconda on a Linux, so you can just watch that by clicking the link right up there. I also leave the link in the description box. So that's about Anaconda. One good thing about it, so it's, it's you can install it on all the operating systems. Another cool thing about Anaconda is that it automatically installs all dependencies for you. So let's say you have software A. And then software A requires dependencies, which are software B, C, and then D. Anaconda automatically installs all these dependencies and also installs the software for you. So it's a cool thing. So uh, you, all the heavy lifting is done for you by Anaconda. Now with Anaconda, installation of tools is done using the Conda commands. So take note of that. Another good thing about Anaconda is that you can install different versions of the same software on the same system. So how is it done? Anaconda installs softwares via environments. So before you install a software using Anaconda, you need to create an environment and then in that environment, you will install the tools. And so if you have two different versions of the same software, you want to use them. Let's say pipeline A requires software version two, and then pipeline B requires software version three. Then all I have to do is to create environments, environments one, environment two, and then with environments one, you install the version, the software version two, and then with environment two, you install the software version three. So that's about it. So once you're able to create the environment, it becomes easy to install different versions of the same software so there's no limits there anaconda also allows you to install different versions of software not only versions of software, but different kinds of softwares let me just put it that way different kinds of softwares in the same environment so this particular property is very useful especially if you want to build a pipeline so let's say you want to build an analysis an rna seq analysis pipeline with RNAC, there are lots of tools available so i'll just give an example here so let's say you want to use let's say you want to first perform qc you want to do your map you want to do your trimming you want to perform your genome mapping get your read counts and then also identify differential expressions now you can use tools like fast qc maybe the trimming you use maybe traumatic a genome mapping, let's say you use star, and then with the read count, you use let's say feature count, and then you use some R packages to let's say the SQL H R to identify differential expressions. These are software packages, and so instead of you manually install all these things and also their respective dependencies, you just need to create what you call um, a, a, a YAML file, YML, an environment file basically. So you can list all the softwares and then just give some few commands and then Anaconda will install all these softwares for you in an environment, in a single environment. So you just need to activate that environment and then you have your pipeline sets and you are ready to do that. So this is one cool feature about Anaconda. And I've already made some tutorials on that. 
I think there's one to two run bacterial genomics where I just had the environment file and then I just issued some few commands and then all the tools were installed. So you can just watch that video and then see what I'm talking about. I will leave the link to that video in the description box as well. So that's about it with Anaconda. Now, Anaconda is not just for software installation. You can also use it to remove or uninstall the software that you have. Okay. Sometimes you install the software, you want to remove the software. You can use Anaconda to do that. You can also remove the environment itself, the entire environment and all the content. You can also update software. There, there are lots of things you can do with Anaconda. So you just need to look at the online documentation and then see the commands that work for you. So that's one cool thing about Anaconda. So Anaconda basically automates a lot of the processes which are involved in software installation. And so it makes life easier for you as a beginner, not just beginners, advanced users can also do that. And if you have been watching my content, you realize that some of the contents I use Anaconda. I use them in cases where let's say I'll be using let's say a number of software, maybe three, four, five software, and then I use Anaconda to quickly install all those tools um, and start the analysis. So that's about it. Now with Anaconda, you may encounter some issues. One of the common issues that you may encounter is the installation time taking longer than usual. And so if that happens, you can install another package called Mamba, M-A-M-B. This will help you to install the tools faster. So that's about it. But of course, Anaconda is not a perfect software. There are, there are, there are, there are pros and cons. Okay, so once you have challenges, just check online because there's the open, there's the free version. Just check online, and then you 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 may likely find solutions to the the problems. So just install Anaconda, test it, and then just make life easier for you when it comes to bioinformatics. And I have a playlist that has lots of tutorials on Anaconda, so I'll leave that playlist at the end of this video so that you can just watch the content and then learn some new stuff. So that's all for this talk. If you also have any points, just put them in the comment section. Let's all learn something new here. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next session. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.